back. This is the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. John Leone down on the field with head coach Frank Pilani. Coach, I know the last thing you want to talk about are consolation prizes, but I, I'll tell you what, you told me time and time again, you love the fight, you love the competitive competitiveness of this football team. Princeton's always a tough challenge, but you guys were in it right to the very end. Well, again, that's two weeks in a row that, you know, we don't finish the way we need to and not getting stops there and getting the ball back, opportunities missed. You know, kind of got stifled on offense there, then got restarted. You know, we need a much more consistent ground game that'll open everything else up. Drew's making everything he can make happen in the pass game. But when you got an in-app run game like we got right now, uh, that's a real problem. It's something that we've got to fix, and obviously not something I'm real happy about, obviously. Well, you know, Coach, one of the things that stood out to me is that, that personal foul call early in the game now you're coming off a lopsided loss last year against this team you're on their turf you get that call. and then after giving up that first touchdown you guys answered right back i know that put you in a hole but talk again about the resiliency well you know you know a dumb penalty like that we get a stop and we you know we got momentum and we give that up and that ends up in a touchdown and then we turn the ball over a guy gets and we get hit so we gave him two touchdowns and you know it's one of those games again where you're just gonna be chewing and chewing we got to spit it out after 24 hours because we got an even bigger game the following week. And I know you'll be ready for it, Coach. It's been a heck of a schedule. I'll tell you, the Patriot League awaits. Keep growing with this team. It's week to week, John. You know that. You're not looking ahead. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Drew Reed, step in here with us for a moment. Reed, uh, Reed uh, I think 24 for 36, uh, over 300, 361 yards. You look like you're having fun again out there. Tell us about the growth. Tell us about the difference between last year and this year for you. Uh, you know, just playing with confidence and not trying to do too much, I think, is the key. You know, we, uh, this, this one hurt, hurt a lot, but, uh, you know, in, in terms of my game, I think it's just, that's just the big thing. You know, not trying to do too much, not trying to push the ball downfield, take the check down when it's there, let those guys make plays, because we got, we got some definite playmakers on the outside. You know, when uh, you completed the pass late in the game to Matt and, and they, they jarred it loose, I saw your reaction walking off the field. You were exhorting the defense. What were you telling those guys and what was your mindset? I just wanted to keep them up. You know, they, they had a quick turnaround, sudden change on defense. So I just wanted them to, you know, come out, like, get a stop, hold them to three, because I think I think it was a four-point game at the time. If we hold them to three, you know, it's just a touchdown game. So I just wanted to tell them, you know, fight and, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't get discouraged because uh, there's a lot of time left. You know, you had Delaware last week, a very good football team. Princeton on the road, a very good football team. Villanova next week. But, Drew, I know, despite the difficulty of the schedule, this team seems to be growing. Good luck next week. Let's get home. Let's get a win. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You it, Gary Michael, a hard-fought game. I think you'll agree with me, Michael. The kids played their hearts out. Uh, it was an even football game. I think the team is growing. Back to you guys. Yeah, it was Drew's fourth 300-yard game in his career, his second this season certainly warrants our player of the game. It's time for the highlights, and that means it's time for Mike Joseph. Well, you kind of got the feeling in this game that whoever was going to have the ball last really uh, was going to win the football game. You see Joe Radican, he's going to take it in after that. Uh, John talked about it, that uh, penalty, and he's going to make it a 7 nothing game, but Lafayette answers right back. And in that first half, three big catches for 54 yards. You see Mayfield take it in, and then Lafayette takes the lead 14-7 on a nice throw again by Morozik. Here, this was a big one. He got hit, he got the ball, got jarred loose. It was intercepted by Dorian Williams, and then the touchdown, and then Lafayette comes right back. They're going to end up tying this football game up 21-21 with Nick Francis, who had another big catch in the third quarter as well. So Lafayette in that half, 21-21, and then you see Princeton here. A strong running game all day long with Radigan, and then that was the big play John alluded to. The Over the middle, the ball fumbled. Lafayette actually got the ball back on an interception. And then they ended up turning it up loose again on probably a, one of the four throws there by Drew wanting while he wants back. And that created that 11-point lead. And then you see Radigan right here. He's going to get down the field untouched. He was very, very good today. Again, not very flashy. He ran for over 100 yards. He did some great things. And that was that 11-point lead. But Drew, watch him here. Does a great job dropping it over the top into Joey Chenoweth. He did not get involved a lot today. A couple of uh, quick passes to the outside. But that was a big one. And then you see Drew Reed, just that nifty feet, two hands on the ball, eyes down the field. Matt Morozik with another touchdown, his fifth of the year. 
and this was a situation here. That was that big third down in line uh, nine. Lafayette decided to play a little bit of zone, and you saw uh, Lovett come underneath. Lovett had two touchdowns in the red zone. He had the big play at the end of the game to salt things away, but really a tough one to swallow for the Leopards. No question about it. They played hard. They got back into the ball game. They couldn't get a stop late in the game to get the football back. Terrific effort tonight by Drew Reed. And certainly the offensive player for Princeton tonight, Joe Radigan, he just was unstoppable. 22 carries for 126 yards and three touchdowns as Lafayette goes down to defeat in this one by a 35 to 31 score. The Leopards uh, now will take a two game losing streak into next week's ball game against Villanova. Lafayette drops the one and two. Princeton starts their season one and oh and will take on Lehigh next week at 12.30 at Lehigh.